Hi, it's Camilla and today I will show you 5 easy creator tips how to fix your sketches so you can work smarter, not harder. I'm quite new to creator and digital art but I've been using these techniques a lot in my artworks and I thought they might be helpful if someone is also just starting out with this app. I will link some additional tutorials in the description box for you. My first tip would be to get familiar with the liquify brushes that Krita offers. So if you select the normal brush and then go to the digital category, you can find the liquified brushes at the end of the list. And the first one is like a magnifying glass or a fish eye, so you can make the elements of your drawing bigger. Of course you need to be careful not to do it too much, but it's a very useful tool sometimes. Then we have the opposite, that is the shrinking brush, and it works the, the same way that the magnifying brush does, so you can shrink all those elements back to where they were before or if you want to fix something. And the last brush moves the elements around. You can use it to change the shape of some things. I would say be careful with this brush and use it just on the sketch or maybe on the line art, not on your drawing because the pixels do blur out if you use this kind of brush. So you have to be aware of that and use it so that it doesn't destroy your drawing. But using it on a sketch is fine. I find it really useful so that I do not have to redraw everything. I can just move it around and I can make it look better without having to redraw every single thing. And here you have some clips that I use, the, those kind of brushes. I do use even those magnifying fisheye brushes or those shrinking brushes sometimes, especially if I, for example, make the hand too big, those shrinking brushes are very helpful. And in this way you can fix your sketch really quickly. For example, here I thought that the um, legs were too big for this, for the proportion, so I just shrinked it and it worked like that. My next tip would be to mirror your drawings, and to do that, you can uh, either use the M key on the keyboard to mirror the, the drawing but sometimes it's a little bit problematic if you for example use a reference picture on the side and then you flip the canvas and it, it's not really visible so for that, if that's really annoying for you, you can use the flip image option and that in that way it stays in place, it just flips your drawing. For example here, I have a lot of reference pictures on the left, so um, I just use the flip, flip image option so my picture stays in the same place. And also when I mirror things, I do use the liquify brush to make sure everything is proportionate and symmetrical. So you can go back and forth, try out different things on the mirrored image or without the mirror and then see what works better if you can spot any mistakes in that way here I didn't have a reference picture so I just used the M key to quickly flip the image because as you can see here when I do have a reference picture and I click the M button 
then I have to move around my picture to back to the position and sometimes it's really annoying. My third tip is using selection to a new layer option. So when you have your drawing ready and then suddenly you decide, as I do have this problem here, that the head is too big, then I just select everything that I want to change, for example the head, and then when you have your selection press Ctrl and T to make this kind of box, and then when you click Shift and then try to drag the corner of the box, you can change the size of, of this selection. Then when you have this kind of proportion ready, you can move it to a new layer. So to do that, just go to layer and cre create a new layer from selection. And then if you do that, you have your, your head part, for example, head part on a new layer. So you can move it again or change the size again. My fourth tip is using the patch tool brush. So it works similarly to the patch tool in Photoshop, but here you don't have to do the patching. So, for example, if you have a paper texture and you want to erase those kind of little dots, as I do here, it's very helpful to just erase it with this brush. You can do it automatically and it's it speeds up the process overall. And my last tip is E shortcut to make any brush into an eraser. It's very easy, but maybe some of you don't know about this. In Krita you can make any brush into an eraser. So if you work with layers and you want to erase a part of the color, for example, but you don't want it to be too harsh, you can just use the same brush, but as an eraser, and just work like that. Okay, and those were all of my tips I have for you. Those were very quick, very simple. You have to practice a bit with the liquify brushes, but other than that, I think a lot of those tips really help me to quickly draw something and I don't have to redraw everything over and over. I can just correct it with a digital technology, so it's very it makes my life <laughs> really easy. Thank you for watching and bye bye.